Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you that how you can remove or hide PayPal credit card button uh, from your PayPal smart buttons integration. So for example you have integrated this uh, these two buttons into your website and as you know that PayPal has the policy that in some countries credit card functionality is not available so if you are integrating into your website and of course uh, if you are not able to accept the payments from your customers then there is no use of this specific button. So it's better to remove this uh, button from your uh, from your uh, website or maybe if you have uh, integrated uh, anywhere right so let me show you how you can do that currently you can see that this is the official code provided by the PayPal so here you can see that we have PayPal button and then debit or credit card button now we are interested to hide this uh, debit or credit card button all right so there is a simple code PayPal has already provided us so let me show you how you can do that uh, so uh, let me uh, close this uh, tab first and uh, let's go uh, move ahead with the official document again so you have to search here developer.paypal.com forward slash demo forward slash checkout once you are pressing the enter key you will be redirected to this specific dummy code which has been provided by the PayPal itself so now let me show you what which code you have to add because of that you could able to hide this button so here uh, this is also the official document of the PayPal I have already uh, searched here so if you are interested to uh, see this document then you can uh, go to developer.paypal.com forward slash docs forward slash checkout forward slash reference forward slash customize dash SDK forward slash hash disable dash funding so uh, you should follow this specific URL and then you will be redirected to this specific page so here you can see that they have included this specific library which is already available here so if you will have in your uh, I mean these buttons are available in your website so of course you will have this specific line uh, anywhere alright so you have to find out this line first and then after you have to copy this end of this uh, this uh, ending part which is ampersand disable funding uh, disable dash funding equals to credit uh, comma card so let me copy this and then uh, let me paste it over here so uh, after USD you have to paste ampersand disable minus funding equals to credit comma card so in that way you can see that once I pasted that code then automatically the credit card and debit card uh, functionality has been removed I mean that button has been disappeared from here alright so this this is one of the best way to remove this one without using any CSS why because uh, in some cases some people are uh, thinking that we can uh, use some JavaScript or maybe CSS so it is quite difficult for them why because uh, PayPal is providing these buttons in the iframe so uh, there is a lot more difficult to handle uh, the JavaScript and CSS inside the iframe so it's better to use this specific code which is uh, ampersand disable minus funding equals to credit comma card so in that way you could able to hide this button let me show you a few more functionalities uh, which PayPal has provided so for example uh, it, in some countries PayPal has also provided the functionality of pay later uh, option so uh, for example you are interested to show that button to your customers as well so here they have given this pay later option so how you will be doing that uh, just like we have added m percent uh, disable minus funding in the same way we will be adding here uh, m percent enable minus funding equals to uh, pay later so once we are writing this one then automatically pay later button would be shown over there so what does it mean it means that it is quite easy for us to enable and disable these uh, these specific buttons so currently you can see that we have credit uh, card uh, pay later vimeo uh, venmo bank uh, bank contact so there are there are a couple of other options which you are having uh, here so you should explore all these and test according to your country so if your country is eligible for that so currently you can see that if eligible they have already given us that if your country is eligible for any specific option then of course you can use this code and hide or maybe mm, uh, unhide the specific button from your uh, integration all right so this is quite simple if you are still facing any issue uh, feel free to ask me the question in the comment section i will be happy to answer you as soon as possible 
so one more thing i wanted to share with you is that i have developed one website which is quite beautiful if you want any free traffic on your website and you wanted to do some keyword research for free so i have this website keywords.com k e i w r d s.com so the best thing of this website is that this is completely free and uh, it has covered a lot of uh, uh, keyword research tools which are covered by Google, Yahoo, Bing, YouTube, uh, eBay, Amazon. So for example, you are interested to explore this instant keyword generator. So you can check each and every tool. For now, I'm just adding here, for example, books. So here you can see that we have different suggestions from Google, from YouTube, from U uh, Yahoo, Bing, eBay, Amazon. So from here you can copy and filter the uh, uh, filter the keywords and paste it into your blog or maybe in your uh, in your YouTube uh, tags. So I have also a couple of other uh, tools for uh, YouTube itself, tags generator, tags extractor. For example, you are interested to generate the description. So here we have an interesting tool to generate the description in which you can uh, customize each and everything. Then we have a lot of other uh, things like. Uh, uh, tag extractor so if you have any specific video on the YouTube you just copy the URL and paste it over here and then uh, click on extract and you will automatically getting that specific uh, keywords which the other person has used so down below you can also download the uh, specific thumbnail and can also watch here the same video so these are quite interesting uh, tools which I have generated. So if you are thinking these are useful for you as well, so you can explore this website and uh, use according to your need because these are uh, related to SEO. So these are quite useful for you all as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and also like this video. So I will be uploading a lot of good content uh, uh, in the upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching this video. So see you in the next video.